Yeah, thank you, everyone. And I, I want to close just by bringing us back to a couple of our meeting objectives and, and really the, the purpose that the organizers had brought to us um, to kind of set us up for tomorrow. And um, as I do that, I'm also, our final, final thing we're going to do is everybody here gets literally a final word, um, not a final paragraph, not a final run-on sentence, um, but an, an actual final word or phrase of something that you're taking away from today. Could be sort of this, what, what's the feeling that you're left with? And as you know, some of us might be frustrated, confused, sort of, you know, soporific. <laughs> it's, um, but kind of, but what is one thing that you're taking away from today that, that you really want to get your, you, you want to take forward into your work and into your, your practices, um, perhaps into the conversation tomorrow? So we're going to go around the entire room quickly and ask everyone for a single, just to give voice to that. Um, as you give some thought to that, and I just want to remind you, the objectives for this meeting, I mean, the organizers were really clear with us in the, as we were thinking about the planning, was they really didn't want this to be two days where we argued about definitions, because <laughs> we have had those meetings, and people have written publications about it. And so I think the organizers asked us to take, kind of take a leap of faith. They've, they have, in the workshop purpose on your agenda, they have stipulated a definition of citizen science um, we understand that getting conceptual clarity around, well, what are the implications of that? Can we extrapolate principles or practices? How do, what, what does that look like? You know, what's the family of research that that might cover? It's a broad definition. I understand that that might be the conceptual clarity work that we need to do here next. Um, but just as far as definitions and terms, that'll be less where we want to focus. But our, our three areas of emphasis that they really asked us to stay pretty crisp on is this is a meeting about citizen science, it is a meeting about LC, and it is a meeting about NIH-funded uh, research in this space. So the explicit question we're being, we know that there's long, long histories of citizen science practices going on out in the world um, and are going out all in the world today. The question before us is, what can NIH do in this space? So what can NIH do um, with their funded research initiatives um, within some of their practices? Are there particular LC issues, and you know, specifically that we should take on in, for empirical study, for conceptual work, um, that would really help advance the field and the practice in this way? So those, I just want to kind of, as we take kind of chew on what we heard today, think of the so many examples that people have generously shared with us today, and start to start to really crystallize that into, what does this mean for NIH-funded research? And that's really where we're going to ask you to go tomorrow. We have a final panel kind of taking, we've taken this whole arc of, the, of a research project, and so we're going to take, the final panel is going to take us into that final piece of what can be a final piece of a research project of dissemination and obligations that happen after research. Um, but then uh, really a bulk of the mor morning is going to be in small group discussions and we're going to be asking you to engage with each other to really dig into um, what else the issues should NIH be, uh, what uh, is NIH in a position to address? Um, and what, what are some research questions that uh, within citizen science and LC that NIH could, and some of us involved in, in research could take on. So I just wanted to plant that seed because you guys are going to get uh, frustrated with me again tomorrow because those are going to be fast conversations. So I'm going to move you along before you're done having them. Um, so you might chew on some of that as you have a glass of wine tonight or as you sleep and dream um, and, and come in kind of ready to because I think what, what our hosts are asking us for is some pretty concrete advice and guidance. And so our goal, and in the final session, Jeff Kahn's going to help us get there, um, to what's our action plan? What's our action plan, our recommendations for NIH, but then our own personal action plan, too, for all the organizations or um, places where we work and live that we might be taking away from here as well. So just wanted to kind of focus us on that charge for tomorrow. OK. 
Can I, uh, any of the organizers, is there anything else that you'd like to say to set us up for tomorrow or close out today? Charlize or David or Liz or Jennifer? We're good? Cool. Just thanks for hanging in with us all day. Thinking so much on our behalf. Well, thank you to the organizers for bringing us together um, and for bringing such a diverse uh, group of folks together. I really appreciate that. So final word, this, this goes fast. Um, we're just gonna round robin it. I think, Liz, I'm starting with you in that corner <laughs> only, only because we, we're gonna kind of do this. You, I'm gonna get, I move the microphone back here because I'm getting all of us back here and up, up the side and down, back down the middle, okay? So just one word or phrase that you're taking away from today. Thank you. Panda. Or phrase. Innovation. Thank you. Or self sufficiency. <laughs> Can you use your microphones? Or is nobody talking? No. <laughs> yeah, I think cool. microphones would help all of us in this room too, but and people are still uh, listening to us on the webinar. Thanks. You have to repeat. No, oh. we don't. We can just keep going. Okay. Um, uh, resonance across domains of research. Oops. Focused confusion. <laughs> Assume citizens are competent. That's one of my favorite ones. Grateful. Go ahead. Mine is learn from what's working. Questioning our assumptions. Healthy dialogue. <laughs> I'm changing it quickly. Flexibility. <laughs> what needs more investigation? Positive disruption. False dichotomy. Context. The importance of diversity to define this, these issues. Leveling the playing field. Scientists serving citizens. Whose health, whose research? Uh, personal data tax. Who owns the data? Vocabulary matters. Listening. No rush to write rules. <laughs> Give it a chance. Ambiguity in understanding harms. Democratizing science. <clears throat> uh, turning talk into action. Did we get everybody? Right on. Excellent job. Um, and we came in under the wire. You guys were spectacular. Uh, one housekeeping thing, we start at 8 a.m. tomorrow, not 8.30, so a, a half an hour earlier. So shuttles will be a half an hour earlier. Um, it's because we get done earlier. We get done by 3. So thank you, everyone, for your active participation today. I'll bring luggage, too. I'll bring luggage.